everyone, and welcome back for another episode of CTTV's Weekly Update. I'm your host, Juliet, and this week we decided to bring back a familiar face, Lee. Today's segment is speaking directly to you, recent college graduates, and what to do, hey, and what not to do, no, with their resumes coming out of college. Do have a professional email. A first name, last name combination at Gmail or Yahoo are perfectly acceptable, but we do want to stay away from any .edu's or childhood email addresses. We all have them and they're all embarrassing. Don't! Do not limit yourself to special skills. If there are special skills that everybody has, they're not so special. Microsoft Office proficient? Yeah, so is my grandma. Let's concentrate on things that you do, that you bring to the table. If you're a coder, let's talk about .NET, let's talk about C++. If you're a graphic designer, dive into your Adobe Photoshop experience. Do. Use specific titles, accomplishments, and numbers. The more specific you can be about past job responsibilities, the better. Don't. Do not bring up high school and what you accomplished then. Nobody wants to be Peaked in high school, Rob Lowe from those DirecTV commercials. Let's leave high school out of it. Do highlight university leadership roles. For example, if you're applying for a finance position and you are an executive board member in your fraternity or sorority, you definitely want to highlight your responsibilities managing multiple budgets for various social events. Do not, don't put a long, generic, drawn out summary at the front or the top of your resume. This day and age, everybody's attention span is minute. I'm talking three or four bullet points, what makes you you, and why you're the right individual for the job. Well, that pretty much wraps up all the time we have for today. We hope you keep these suggestions in mind when revamping your resume. Thanks so much for joining me today, Lee. My pleasure. And thanks so much for watching. As always, stay tuned next week for another episode of CTTV's Weekly Update.